I think we're live. Okay. Hi, my, my name is Randy Miller, and um, this is Arm Wraps, and we're going to be wrapping this beam. It's a 10-foot beam, and we're going to be using the, the Belbian, and it's going to be SW140. Uh, I don't have any right here, but it's outside. And we made sure everything is nice and smooth, sticking out. <coughs> so it's a long piece, so I'm kind of showing you, we're going to wrap it all the way around. I'm kind of going to show you the process that uh, what I do as wrapping it. The vinyl is right over there, and it's, it's a brown vinyl. And uh, so let's kind of get started. The tools I'm going to be using is just a regular squeegee, uh, a blade. Not I use uh, a get it on. So basically, it's right, uh, but I'll show you the, the process of going in front of me so I can't tell if it's going to go off a different area. It now I'm going to use my hand with again. So when the next file hits, you about there. You can leave comments and questions down below, and I will, if it saves it in the live video. Uh, I'm not sure if it does or not. But I always get back to you guys if you have any questions or if you have projects or you're fighting with this or that. You always call me 208-696-1180. You can always email me at rmraps at gmail.com. You can check out more vinyls at rmrapsstore.com. See the Belbian in the uh, Belbian in the Dynock material. Okay, I'm just checking on. Okay, now I'm going to use my thumb, my fingers, I guess. I'm just going to kind of walk it in so I can actually feel it. I don't like using gloves because I can't feel the little details. It's such a long piece. It's safer doing this way. Okay, I have about an inch tacked on to the front or front side, I believe. Okay, I'm just gonna cut a little bit extra vinyl off. And then I'm gonna roll it. So the beauty of using this kind of vinyl, there's hundreds of designs you can choose from. Yeah, if it ever gets sticky, just snap it up. And with the the old veneers, they can only go 10 feet. If I want to, I can have these boards at 100 feet if you want, or 164 feet, because that's the, the rolls are 164 feet long. But if it ever gets damaged, uh, you can easily, easily repair it within minutes. You don't know. Only tool you need is uh, a knife and a squeegee. Okay, next I'll just check the is there any air bubbles in it? Especially around the corners. 
if you get like an air bubble right here, that's not a big deal. I can actually use a little bit of heat. The vinyl does sink in. Okay, I'm gonna do a repeat. Yeah. One finger brings the vinyl down, the other finger just basically tacks the vinyl onto the subject. Then I'll use my squeegee to really tack it on. Everyone does it differently, so if you have another technique, it's a lot better. Share it, and I'll put the link on uh, your link to your page, your videos, whatever helps. Okay. Just basically walking. I like using, put it on cardboard because cardboard doesn't scratch. So when I have jobs like this, I put it on these cardboards. Okay. Just slowly walking in. There you go. And you can see the paper lifting up the vinyl. That's actually good because it uh, just lifts the vinyl up and it's easier to install. And the air bubbles go out easier. And I'm going to show you how, it, when the edges come along, when they beat up, basically. Me, or meet up, sorry. This one, I'm gonna have to use the heat. No, oh, no, I want that. Okay. Sometimes when you have two guides, it's better. So one guy can actually hold one side up, and the back side. But everything's workable. Okay, now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna butt these two together. 
Let's get a little bit of extra vinyl off first. Okay. Now this is where the sandpaper comes. Oh, two different ways. I can cut it fairly close where it needs to be. I'm going straight up and down. We got most of it. There's like a little baby slivers on it. I'm gonna go this way. And I'm kind of going up and straight up and down. There it goes. Okay, for the final detail stuff, I can feel like a little, little baby lip. I'm just getting the detail stuff. Now you can see that I'm just using sandpaper and that just gets that final edge. Because if I use the, the knife, I'm risking cutting on, on this and then and you gotta repair that part. And it is very hard to see when I get done where I actually, and this is actually going against a glass window, so no one will ever see this edge. Okay. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, it's good. Never thought, oh, I see a little air bubble. Okay, so it's good to have like a light right there. Because you can see everything. Actually, this is, I'm not worried about this because it's going to be against the window. But every little detail counts. So. I don't know if you can see that, the edge right there. Let's hold it still as possible. But that's, this is the back end and the front end is going to be completely smooth. Actually, you know what, let's just do showing the video. Um, I don't know if you can see uh, where the wood is at right here. So that's the reason why we did the Bondo. better okay I don't know if you can see that either so anyway this looks uh, like twice as better if you look we look hard hard enough you can see it but that's at a weird angle if you can find it um, other than that okay if you got any comments or questions comment down below and you can always email me or uh, call me or text me or video call me or anything like that uh, phone number is 208-696-1180. Email rmraps at gmail.com. Uh, texting is the phone number. Uh, if you want to see more materials like this, you go to rmrapsstore.com. And if you want to see the projects that I'm working on, you can go to rmraps.com. That's my, my other website for the custom jobs and prints and stuff like that. Uh, again, thank you for watching. And if you like this, give me a thumbs up. I like, them, I like comments too, so. Oh boy. I did it. Alright. Might have to do, no, do another one because I put it in my pocket. <laughs> the video didn't go through.